Hello and welcome to another um, Club Penguin toy review by me, Master Screwdriver. Um, we moved now. We have done my um, card jitsu collection so far for 2009. I'll do another one. Shut up, email. I'll do another one for 2010 because I think I'll probably get the puffle deck for Christmas. I don't know. Um, we're now moving on to talk like um pl like plushies and um. Mix and matches, well, yeah, um, yeah, and anyway, I thought that, um, we'd start off from Series 1 toys and then go to Series 4, so that's what I thought, so our first toy to be reviewed is... Captain Rockhopper from Series 1. Um... I got this toy as a Christmas present from my parents. Um, I bought it off eBay for uh, 40, 60 quid. It, it was quite hard to find. I bought it kind of in December. Um, quite expensive as well. Um, you never know. You never know who, who might. It was a buy it now, so, you know, easy to find. But, um, it's. It's it's uh, it's my all-time favorite celebrity or famous bird penguin, and it's really a great toy. Um, Rock Hopper has his captain's hat, which has a puffle with crossbones. Yeah, puffle with crossbones. Well, I think that's puffle. Crossbones. Yeah, that's puffle with crossbones. On the end, he has eyebrows, black eyebrows. Um. If you look at him anyway, he's he's just normal penguin, a red normal penguin. Um, he's got he's got put eyebrows on and he's got a beard. The beard's nice, you know. It's very it's very it's very, it's very soft, and um, well yeah, it's very soft. That's all it is. It's soft. Um, you can lift it up, but that's not pleasant, is it? Seeing as seeing the Bottom of his mouth, yeah. Um, Rock Hopper is a really nice toy, and um, Club Penguin's on his feet, like flipper, his left hand side flipper. And, um, wow, he's, he's, he is a really nice toy. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not like some six year old that goes to sleep with him. No, I, I, I collect them for these. See. Also, I want the toys as well because they are actually quite good. The puffles from like 2006, 2007, 2008 onwards um, that you can still get today from, with no toy codes, they're kind of rubbish. So when the toy codes came out and then you could get exclusive items, then I said, "Hell yeah, I'm getting them." But unfortunately, I couldn't get any in UK stores because they didn't do it yet. So um, I'm going to show you the coin. Warning, don't bother copying the code, it's already used. Just showing you his profile picture. If you can see that, then I don't know what it says. Um, his profile picture is him stand... That's bad. I'm going to cut that bit out. Okay, his profile picture is him standing... Towards the um, the front, he's looking at you. Um, yeah, like what we you would expect him. No, nah, the picture's really like him on his player card. That's all. That's all. The code you might not read it. Hopefully you don't. And um, well, that's just really it. And it's got trees in the background here. Um, yeah, front of the coin. Um, Rock Copper, really, really, really good. Um, I'm glad they they put him on Series Three range because he actually sold out quite quickly because he was the famous Penguin of Series One. So they put him in Series Three range now, and he's more popular, I think. And um, well, you can buy him for like I think ten dollars, like seven pounds. I don't know, but this is I rec I do recommend this one because. Well, he's rock up really, and everyone likes to rock up. 
Well, this is another toy review done. Um, Lock Hopper says bye, and I say bye. Go on. Bye. Uh, bye. Arr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me being random. Okay, bye.